All right, so um, hopefully at this point we've learned a little bit about exposure. Um, you know that the way our cameras work is that the light enters the lens, the sensor captures the light and turns that into a digital signal which creates your digital image. In some forms of printing, um, especially historically, there's what was called a cyanotype which was a chemical that was photosensitive that would create a blue print. If you guys have ever heard of blueprints as in architecture, it's the same thing. They would take a, a person's drawing of a building, the layout, and they would make this cyanotype print from it so that way they had an exact copy of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to make our own, basically our own cyanotype. We're not gonna use harsh chemicals like they might have, but the idea is the same. And this is called a nature print using our nature print paper. The paper that I'm using is leftover from last year. So we'll see how it turns out. Right here it says use within six months of purchase. So it may not expose properly according to directions, but I'm gonna show you the correct directions. So step one, select flat objects you wish to print. It suggests weeds, leaves, keys, string, lace, a sliced shell, etc., etc. Um, sometimes slightly transparent objects work well too. So for your homework, you need to select five objects that are unique to you. So this doesn't mean, oh, I'm going to do my cell phone and the Sharpie I found in my backpack. Okay, that's not going to count. What you need to do is really think about something that talks about you, who you are as a person. So I've got this bracelet that I think has the camera on it to show about my teaching photography, but it's also got these little transparent beads that might give some interesting light effects in here. I have my little fake flower just to kind of add something feminine to it since um, I think that would help with talking about myself. I have this little face painting sponge. I used to do face painting in college, so that's something about me. Um, it may not read as a sponge in the final print, but it is something about me that I brought in for the purpose of that. I am going to go ahead and use this Sharpie because I am an art teacher and I do like to use Sharpies, so that will be interesting. Um, also given that it's a line, it might give some variety to my work since I've got these circles. And I always carry my giant glob of keys everywhere. So um, I've got my keychain here that might give something interesting. I can put my keys in all sorts of different positions for my design, so I've got lots of different options. Okay. So now that I have my five objects, I have my five objects brought in, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of paper out, and this, since there's only going to be one pack for the class, it may be that we figure out a way to distribute these differently. Um, so I'm going to take my one piece of paper out. Yeah, this paper is a little bit old, so it's not going to turn out perfectly. Okay. So the paper is blue, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a metal tray. Now these metal trays belong to my other classes, okay, they, most of them have names on the back, so please be careful with these, okay? Uh, make sure it's dry on the inside, they should be, they won't use, okay? Make sure it's dry. You're going to put the paper blue side up in the tray, then we're going to place our objects. Now you guys should have already done, or will think about doing, um, an assignment where you plan out how you're going to lay out your objects. So I'm going to start with some of my circles first, thinking about how I want this to flow together. I'm going to use that pen to anchor down my little flower there. And I think for this first one, I just want that keychain on that part. So we'll see how this turns out. Some of my objects are a little bit more raised than others. That's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole tray outside. We're going to put it in the sun for two minutes. 